This week was truly remarkable for the AI space. We potentially saw leaks for the Gemini 3.0 launching next week. And you also have the ability to actually access that with a link that I'll leave in the description below. We also saw the release of GLM 4.6 as a powerful new open source model. And Anthropic unveiling Claude 4.5 Sonnet, which they're calling their best coding model yet. Meanwhile, the DeepSeek team quietly rolled out with their new DeepSeek V3 alongside a new experimental DeepSeek V3.2. And what makes this super impressive is the fact that how they cut API costs by more than 50% plus using something called sparse attention, a method that skips over less important words and focused only on the things that actually matter, making it much faster and cheaper to use without losing much quality. Now, to be fair, DeepSeek V3.2 Experimental is practically the same as its initial release with the Terminus model, with only slight improvements in generation. But there is a trade-off with the sparse attention that can sometimes struggle with very long context. But that's exactly what these experimental models are for. Testing, improving, and potentially laying the groundwork for something bigger, like the future with DeepSeek R2. But just take a look at this image which showcases the efficiency gains with DSA enabled with fine grained sparse attention with minimal impact on the quality of output. It enhances long context performance and it's reducing compute costs drastically in comparison to the 3.1 Terminus while maintaining the performance. You can see that it's actually on par with the Terminus model in terms of benchmarks but being super efficient in terms of its pricing. Here is a look at the benchmarks test and you can see that it is comparing the DeepSeek V3.1 Terminus model up against the new DeepSeek V3.2 Experimental and it's practically on par with it while being super efficient. And you got to remember the Terminus model isn't just some typical open source model that would be forgotten after a couple of days. It is a pretty remarkable model that actually a lot of people use on a day to day basis. Due to its performance across various sorts of benchmarks from general purpose benchmarks like MMLU, GPQ, the search agent, coding benchmarks, code agents, mathematics. It is something that is pretty impressive and now with this new experimental model, it is super cheap and something that is practically free to use. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. But drum roll please, because this is the pricing structure for the DeepSeek V3.2 experimental model, where it's listed at 0.028 cents with cash hit, which is impressive for 1 million input tokens. And with cash miss, it is listed at 28 cents. But for the output, it is listed at 42 cents for 1 million output tokens. And this is probably the cheapest model that packs the same sort of performance with proprietary models that you will ever see. To get started with this model, it's fairly easy. You can access it via their chatbot completely for free or through their API platform. Now, it's practically free with this pricing structure, but say if you want to access it locally as well, you can install it with different quant size models and then you can host it with Olama or LM Studio. You can use Kilo Code as well as another AI provider. It is something that I personally use for coding tasks and it's something that I would recommend because they offer $25 worth of free credits and pairing it with this model is going to give you unlimited usage with AI generation. Another provider you can use is OpenRouter and this is also another trustworthy provider. Just take a look at the output quality though. This is where it was capable of creating a Minecraft clone and this is a pretty good looking Minecraft clone compared to the other generations that I have seen from other models. I also found that this model does exceptionally well with its front end designing where it matches up against something like Gemini 2.5 Pro. And just an FYI, if you're using Kilo code like I am, you can easily install it from the VS Code Marketplace. And then you can click on the API configuration tab and select the new DeepSeek model, which is gonna be listed over here. So you can easily go ahead and select this experimental model and start generating with it. Let's first start off by creating a butterfly in SVG code. We're trying to see how well this model is in terms of generating SVG code proficiently and seeing if it's able to create 
a symmetrical butterfly with it. So I've copied the code from Kilo code that was generated using the DeepSeq model. And this is the SVG code I've gotten for the butterfly. And it actually looks pretty decent in my opinion. This looks a lot better than what I actually saw from the Terminus model, which is a great step forward somehow. And it looks pretty good, but I'm gonna ask it to actually animate this now. So I've gotten the code for the animation and <laughs> let's see how it actually looks. Okay, not bad to be honest. It doesn't look the best, but it did get somewhat of the job done. So I guess you can give this a pass, but obviously it's not on par with the Gemini model. Next up, I'm going to have it create a SAS landing page. And I told it to add as many features as possible. We're testing it on its code generation, its front end designing, as well as how well it is in terms of creatively adding new features to it. So let's see what it actually generates. You can see that it is now creating the to-do list for this SAS landing page. And this is all thanks to Kilo code, which it does a great job in powering the large language model to enhance its capabilities for code generation. But while it's also doing this, I wanted to actually focus on generating a browser-based OS, which is something that we're testing through the chatbot. This is where we're focusing on web-based coding, and we're trying to see how well it's able to implement this browser-based OS. So I finished the generation with Kilo code to generate the SAS landing page. And you can see that it took approximately only four cents. And this is after generating thousands of lines of code, also testing and optimizing the landing page. And this is the SAS landing page that we had it generate, which looks absolutely amazing. And this is what I meant with its UX design. It is something that comes on par with top proprietary models. And this is something that added animations, the pricing tier structure, the testimonials, and a couple of other things like FAQ, which passes the test for generating the SAS landing page. And it looks pretty decent. It doesn't look like a typical AI generated web page. But to me, the SAS landing page looks great for an open source model, but what impresses me more is the pricing structure, which is only five cents for this generation, which is just insane. Looks like the browser-based OS is also finished generating, and you can see how many lines of code it actually worked upon. But we can actually take a look at it directly from the chatbot. And there we go. We have our browser Mac OS style. Uh, operating system. Now, one thing I can note is that it failed at generating the icons, which I guess is the only downside, but it did mimic the Mac OS style. You have a couple of different apps, the Finder app, you have a Safari, which actually opens up and that's pretty good. It also has generated a Mac OS terminal. There's a notes app as well. So I guess it did pass this test. It would have been better if it actually generated these different icons, but for its price and quality, it is truly great to see. Next up is a prompt that tests its ability to perform logical reasoning, sequential problem solving, and quantitative planning. Essentially, this is where we're trying to send in this prompt where we're stating that you have three containers, one holds eight liters of water, one holds five liters, and one holds three liters. You need exactly four liters in the eight liter container. You can pour water between containers freely, but cannot measure partial liters directly. Explain step by step how you would achieve exactly four liters in the eight liter container. And you can see that with its reasoning, its typical deep seek reasoning, it is working on different sorts of sequential problem solving outcomes. And it is gonna then work on multiple steps to get the correct answer. And it's gonna carefully evaluate this by getting the answer where you can pour and transfer water following the classic 853 water puzzle step. And this is to leave exactly four liters in the eight liter container. And there we go. After thinking for 77 seconds, it was able to exactly leave four liters in the eight liter container. And it was able to follow through with the correct steps to get there. Now, overall, it did a great job with its ability for multi-step logical reasoning. And it was able to plan through through the reasoning. It was able to also use quantitative problem solving to get the right answer, which we see over here. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the DeepSeek V3.2 experimental model. This gives me high hopes for the DeepSeek R2 model, which should be releasing by the end of this year. And with this pricing structure, it's going to be truly remarkable as to what we are going to be able to 
use and get out from the DeepSeek R2 model. This is truly an impressive experimental model, and I highly recommend that you try it out because it's practically free when you're using it with this pricing structure as well as with the provider like Helocode. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe to the second channel. Join the newsletter. Join me on the private Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you get subscribed, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of videos that you can truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.